Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up your Google Cloud Platform MySQL Server and also how you can connect to it in your Java application, specifically Java web application. I do apologize if I sound a little bit tired. That's because I am pretty tired, it's been a long day. Um, I usually sound more exciting than this, <laughs> but uh, you all, you're stuck with to tie with me this time. Okay, let's get started. First of all, you want to have a non-USC email because USC disabled their Google Cloud Platform services. So you have to use your own email. And even with your own email, you have to make sure that you've never used Google Cloud Platform before, or if you have, it's within a year of when you first started because you can actually get $300 of free credit for a year when you first sign up with Google Cloud Platform. So if you have used Google Cloud Platform before and your trial has expired, just go and get a new Gmail. All right. Now that we're logged in for the first time. Let's hit agree. And let's activate this free trial that we have here. If you, you can see at the top, so let's go ahead and activate it. They ask you for your card information, but do not be alarmed as they say on the right. Um, they don't charge you automatically after the trial ends. They will always ask you for your consent before charging you a penny. They only ask for your card information to prevent bots from spamming the free trial. So they can verify that you're a real person. And it's not like Google is some sketchy company either. So don't worry about that. All right, we're done. Uh, we've sign up for a 12 month free trial. We have $300 as our credit. And the first step is to create a new project. Uh, they already give us a project, but that project is very limiting. So we want to create a brand new project from scratch without any limitations. So let's go ahead and go to the top bar, click on the drop down, and then click on new project. You can name it whatever you want. Okay, it takes a little time for the uh, Google Cloud Platform to create this new project. Give it a few minutes. All right, it's done. And our first step is to create a Cloud SQL instance. So let's type in Cloud SQL. Go to the administration API, click enable. And now we've enabled this one. Let's go and create the actual instance, Cloud SQL. Go to Cloud SQL. And let's click on create instance. We'll be using MySQL. And the instance ID would be the kind of name that you give it. You can name it lab7, lab8, homework3, whatever. Root password, up to you. Mine will just be password. And since we're on the west coast, I'll do west1. The zone doesn't matter. And yes, we're using 5.7. Now it takes some time. It takes 5 to 10 minutes. So just hang on tight and wait. All right, now that our instance has been created, let's get into it. Let's click on it. And let's click on connect using Cloud Shell. And you see it gave us a default command. Let's just hit enter. All right, so the password we set earlier was literally password. And there we go. Now we're in MySQL. Let's create a test database real quick, just to see if it works. Or you need semicolon to end the line. Okay, now let's see if we can use it. Yes, we can. Let's create a table.
And I want, let's do, SC means describe. Oh, I forgot the semicolon, and there we go. Let's insert some stuff into a table. select just to see what's in the table and now you see we have our entry that we just inserted so that's the setup for the Google Cloud Platform MySQL instance